If you're planning a trip to Mars this month, traffic might be a little heavy. Flight 655 heading to Mars. Your flight has been delayed. Still waiting for the runway to clear. Yep, three different Mars missions from three different countries are all planning to blast off in July. You see, right now is a great time for a little Martian getaway. Between mid-July and mid-August this year, Earth and Mars are in the perfect position to allow the shortest possible trip. The first cab, or rocket, off the rank is the United Arab Emirates, which took off on the weekend from a Japanese island on its very first Martian mission. Its orbiter will study the atmosphere of Mars. For the first time, the scientific community around the world will get a holistic view of the Martian atmosphere at different times of the day, at different seasons. Then there's China, which is making its second attempt to land on Mars, with the world's first orbiter, lander and rover combo, Tianwen-1. The last mission, penciled in for the 30th of July, is from NASA. Their rover Perseverance is going to the red planet to collect rocks, which NASA hopes to bring back to Earth one day. But unlike China and the UAE, the USA are kind of veterans when it comes to Mars. This special aeronautics and space report brought to you by NASA. Back in the 60s, America was part of a race with the USSR to explore as much of space as possible, including Mars. Mariner's mission, a 350 million mile flight to Mars. There were a few failures, but in 1965, the Mariner mission gave us our first glimpse of the Martian surface. 21 pictures were transmitted by Mariner 4, and they raised much of the veil of secrecy that shrouds outer space. In the 70s, Mariner 9 and Viking 1 showed us evidence of ancient water. And in 1997, this little guy became the first vehicle to move around the planet, Just another incredible even if it was only for 100 metres, to look for any signs of ancient life. Since then, NASA's had nine different rovers, and they've made some interesting discoveries. Nah, sorry, no Martians, but they have found organic molecules, which are the building blocks of life. So they're, well, persevering and they're hoping this robot will make even more discoveries. That's if it makes it. See, Mars is notoriously hard to land on. Not only is it, you know, another planet, it hasn't got much atmosphere, which means it's very hard to slow spacecraft down. The time it takes to go from 20,000 k's an hour to zero has been dubbed the seven minutes of terror. If anything goes wrong, it can be a waste of billions of dollars and years of hard work. No pressure, guys. It'll be another year before these latest missions make it to Mars. And there's sure to be a lot of nerves and a lot of excitement as the world waits for the next chapter of Martian exploration.